Welcome back to the KOAM Morning News. Our good friend Charlene Patton joining us again from Topeka, so the Kansas Soybean Commission. Great to have you here again. Back to school. A lot of kids heading back to school, so we've got some great ideas. And Labor Day weekend's coming up, too. <laughs> and another fantastic idea. We've got a broccoli soy nut salad. We Once do. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us down here. So tell us a little bit about this and what makes it so special for Labor Day weekend. Well, this particular salad recipe will serve about 16 people. So it's a great one if you're going to have a family gathering. But it's also easy to make and something that you could make to serve your family. And we're looking for those quick recipes as families get into the swing of school oh, yeah. and all the school activities. I've already done the broccoli and the cauliflower just into bite-sized pieces and then you're going to add a cup of raisins and one of the things is you're adding that and adding the uh, roasted edamame you can use either uh, the roasted soy nuts or you can use the edamame but I was going to show that in this grocery store next to the salad dressings and all the toppers that you can have for salads you'll find that this is a new product it's called a salad topper but it's called protein packed it has has our edamame in it it has other nuts in it and it also has some dried fruit in it okay. so if you wanted to use this you could use that as well it comes in snack packs which is great for kids okay. um, when they're at the ball diamond to have for that extra protein yes yeah, okay so then you I've crumbled this is uh, six strips of bacon okay. that I cooked We'll add that, and that's going to add a lot of great flavor. And then you have oh, last there. little there bite, we go. yes. And then you have a cup of cheddar, ch grated oh, cheddar cheese, cheese, cheese there. Yes. You could use any kind of cheese in this recipe that you wanted to, but. I've got the cheddar, and then you're going to add some green onion there that I've chopped. Okay. How about that? Let's go ahead, and I'm going to mix this up just a little bit and toss it. You'll need a big bowl with this because this has got a lot of stuff in it. And uh, look at all those colors there, Chris. Oh, I yeah. Mean, I mean, it was looking great before we yeah. mixed it. It looks even better now. <laughs> it sure does. Now, the special dressing that I made is I did this in the food processor. It's one 12-ounce package of tofu. Okay. And I don't think it really matters whether you're using soft, firm, extra firm. But drain the water off of it and then put that in your food processor with one-third cup of mayonnaise. And then we have a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and then a little bit of lemon juice that we've okay. added to it too to just give it a little extra flavor. Yeah. We'll put that in there and I'll stir that and these to make this simple for uh, an evening when your family is uh, busy with activities is have things pre-measured just like I did here and then all you have to do is stir it together. Um, it, this recipe is great to refrigerate just ahead of time too, and that helps to blend the flavors of all the cranberry or the all the cr uh, raisins and uh, bacon and all those ingredients. Excellent. As you mentioned, serve 16. So either if you're having a, a family gathering or maybe you've got a bunch of really hungry kids at home that are just going to eat several servings, it's a healthy thing. It's got some protein and it. it's going to be great for them and something they can enjoy and help make as well. And help make, that's right. All right. Well, Charlene, folks want this recipe or any other, where do they need to go? They should go to kansassoybeans.org or they can call our 800 number, 877-KS-SOYBEAN, and we'll mail them all the recipes for August. All right, Charlene, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Stick around. We've got a lot more of the KOAM Morning News right after this.